How come whenever we start recording, I'm always out of beer? Oh, oh wait a minute. That's, that's for later. Here's what we're playing. It sounds like this. <laughs> How's it going guys? I'm Fainer with Up North Guitar. We got Peas on the camera. Hey! Go figure. We got um, another really good one for you today. Uh, this is It's All Been Done by the Bare Naked Ladies. Is this 90s? This is 90... Way too many 90s, many 90s songs. songs. <laughs> Somebody out there might have been alive in the 90s. Might want they, to might have, they, they might know this song. In my opinion, is like right up there with the popularity of uh, One Week. It's been, you know, that whole one thing. Week. One week since you licked in, but bam, bam, that whole thing. I hope you guys clicked on this video because you know this song. If you don't, go listen to it, come back and... We'll wait. Let's get in close. We'll wait. All right. <laughs> we'll wait all damn day. Come on, let's do this. So we decided not to zoom in maybe as far as we usually do, but you get the point. So that's because I need to talk to you. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. So here we go. Me? Bare na not you, the people that are watching. Oh. Bare Naked Ladies, it's all been done. The song starts out with this. Sound familiar? Okay, <clears throat> the chords are very simple and it actually incorporates one of my favorite chords, the E minor slash G, but we'll get into that. So we go D, okay, and then you go to a G, and then my favorite, the E minor slash G. It almost sounds like nothing really changes from the G, but it does. Watch. There's not much of a change, but it's enough to make a difference. So what you're doing is you're playing an E minor, and you're playing the bottom part of a G dominant five, or what has come to known as a, a G in guitar. So you're doing your E minor, and then you've got on the B and the E, your ring and your pinky on the third fret. Okay, so it sounds like this. Just like that, all right? And then you're going to an A major, Except, we're going to style it up a little bit. We're going to go to an A suspended, which you're going to do by taking your pinky and putting it on the third fret on the B string, right in front of your ring finger right here, and lifting off. Oops, excuse me. And then lift off your ring finger, and then back again. So all together it sounds like this. <laughs> Let's keep going. All right, ready? <clears throat> Just like that. All right? Okay. So, all together, it sounds like this. Slow. Okay? Now, that little A number is really important because it plays a pretty big role in the way that like that melody moves with the guitar. So you need to do that and then back to the D. Just like that. Okay? Nice. It's it's pretty catchy. I love these chords all together. So alright. So let's do a recap. So the ladies are really good at Making their chords really catchy like that. Yeah, they were. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Like one week. It's only I mean, I like guess they're still alive, so they're still good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like one week is only three chords. <laughs> and it's so like, yeah. oh! So recap. So here we go. Real slow, we got D. And then G. And then E minor slash G. 
and then your A major, and then you're going to do that little... Now, I bet you're noticing uh, that in between I'm doing this, okay, I'm, I'm slapping, okay, and I'm doing that with the back of my palm, okay, that's to kind of like emulate like a percussion, but they do that in this song, all right? So in between the chords, <clears throat> you just kind of have to hit on that percussive, you know, downbeat. Not that hard, obviously, <laughs> but you're going to go... And that's simultaneous with the down. Yeah, with, with the down beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So enough with the intro. What happens in the verses is it plays those same chords and it sounds something like this. And if you're watching this video wondering what the hell does he play at that part, well here you go, you found your guys, alright? <laughs> so. He plays a D major to a D augmented to a B minor, the bottom half, to a D7. Wait a minute. Time off. Yes. Question in the back. Uh, that's not how you play a D major. That is definitely how what you What is this? What's this right here? What, That's what is, not how you do that. that. That is definitely how you do it here. Okay. All right, you can play it here or here. What? I just did a little transposition inversion thing there. Anyways, okay, so here you go. So <clears throat> I know that you normally don't play D like this, but it's gonna help you with this guy, okay? So, what's happening? Oh, I get it. You're, you're still pushing down the same I'm strings. I'm still pushing down all the same oh, strings. Oh, man. <laughs> man. What? So, here we go. Imagine you're taking a D like this, right? Okay? But I want you to take your index finger, I want you to lay it down, and then I want you to take your, uh, what was it doing? Uh, this guy. The <laughs> middle finger and place it on the third fret of the B while you're laying this index finger down, okay? So, you got your D. Same thing, is that. Nothing different, okay? Then, you're gonna take your ring finger here, and you're gonna place it above, all right, your middle finger on the third fret of the G string so that it sounds like this. All right? Ooh. And then, you're gonna bump it up one more fret. That was tasty. So these two are not moving, all right? Only this guy is, okay? And then you're going to move it up one more fret. And then you're going to throw this guy in here, your pinky, if you can make that stretch. Okay, so all together it sounds like this. Just like that. And I know that it's a stretch, but practice it. I promise you, it'll all work out in the end, okay? You'll get it. Okay? Get and, it. And, and if you're really struggling with this and you know you want to play this song live, but you just can't do it, let your bass player play it and just do this. And then you can do it just like that. Yeah. Just, yeah. Either that way or learn an hour. You can always fake it. Yeah. You can always fake it. So that's the chords that he plays play, right there. Play it your way. So all together it sounds like this. <clears throat> okay. All together just like you're, that. You're kind of you're And now I'm kind of picking. You're picking the strings. I right? am picking the strings, but you can just strum it. Okay, okay. you can do that or you can do this one. Oops. 
Even we mess up here, it you doesn't matter. You mess up, just keep going. If you mess up, just keep on trucking. Just keep going. All right. So that is the little bridge, uh, I guess, or the little connector that uh, goes right into the woohoo-hoo! That. So what you're gonna play right there is a G and then a B minor, a G again, and then a D major. Except you're not gonna go. You're gonna do this. Okay? So you're gonna you're gonna twiddle. You're gonna do a little twiddle here. You're gonna go just like that. All I'm doing is I'm hammering my pinky on the on the third fret of the uh, high E string. Okay, so just like that, and it should go. Da, 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 da. Like that. Okay. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing. I'm going. And you're lifting your middle finger. Okay, and then to a G, and then back to your E minor slash G. around again okay okay so what do we the hell do we have so far I'll go back into the verse and I back down <laughs> what <laughs> everything we just taught you up to, up to that point it just repeats okay so What's different after that repeats and you've got that verse, chorus, verse, chorus? Well, what happens is they do this part where it sounds something like this. Okay, so it's just that little part that's uh, just a little bit different than everything else that was going on before. Okay, now what they're doing is he's doing that very strange D to D augmented to B minor to D7 chord thing, right, like this. And then we've got... <laughs> <laughs> And then we have G. What? <laughs> okay. And then, um, shit, I forgot. So then we have a G. And then we have an A major. And then we have a B minor. Okay. When he goes to that B minor, that's when it's, would you just yawn and say? And then they cut off and it goes, doom, doom. It's all been done. <laughs> right back into the regular chorus, okay? All right, so all together, it sounds like this. part of the song is when they bust into the solo and that's your own thing go for it go nuts have a solo all right <laughs> main thing that's kind of tricky about this song is the end of it okay and to anybody who wants to criticize me that I'm not following the normal routine whatever go nuts but uh, you should know how to play these chords and how they fall in line with the song so at the end they do this chorus three times but the last two parts of it are a lot different than what we've heard before so what they do here is <coughs> this they go Okay, 
Anybody notice anything different there? Because I sure did. All right. In the chorus, in the end of the song, they do one run of a normal chorus, but then the second one and the third one are different because all they're doing is skipping the E minor slash G. All right? That's all they're doing. So, the different ones go like this. I hope it does. The last line of the song is G A D. G A D. All right. For, you got that? <laughs> There's a lot of chords going on. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a drinking beer. I can't help it. <laughs> okay. All so, right. anyways, so that pretty much wraps up that one. That's it's all been done by the Bare Naked Ladies. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe for more. Um, if you want to go to our website and check out our ebook, <laughs> we have all the chords. Let's, wait, we don't have an we, we don't, don't have, have an ebook. Yeah, we don't have don't ebook. care about yeah. that. We're just going to watch you my Patreon. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we just want to have fun, drink some beer, play guitar, play guitar. With you guys. So mm -hmm. keep Cheers on strumming. Until next time, I'm Banner, and I'm Pease back here on the cam. Have a good one.